Hi, I'm Amanda Perna from eHow.com, and today I'm going to show you how to turn a long boys t-shirt into a dress. This is going to be the easiest thing you've ever done. It's for someone who has never sewn before and you want to take a t-shirt that you love and turn it into a dress that you can wear out the same day. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is turn it inside out. This is just so that way it doesn't get mixed up and you don't wind up sewing the wrong side on the outside. So what we're going to do first, we're just going to remove the sleeve. Really easy, snip, snip. Cut right around the sleeve. Doesn't have to be super pretty because this is going to wind up getting hemmed off anyways. So this, if this is your first time sewing, you will be so proud that your very first thing to sew is a dress. You can show all of your friends. Okay. You're going to want to do it as close to here as possible. But like I said, if it's a little crazy looking with your cutting, no big deal because we're going to cut all of this off anyways. And something you're just going to want to do just for yourself so you know um, approximately how this fits on you is just put it up to your body and take a little look at your shirt and make sure it's going to fit. If not, you could always add things to the side or make it a little bit more complicated if you want. And I'll just quickly explain that at the end to you. So once again, sleeve number two, cut right around that seam. You want to make sure always when cutting that you know where the rest of your fabric is so you don't cut the other parts of the fabric because you don't want to cut a hole. And also watch your fingers, because you kind of want to keep all of those at the end, I'm sure. Okay. So, almost there. Just another inch or so to go. All right. So now that this is all cut, just put those to the side. You're not going to need those. So the next thing to do is we're just going to lay this out flat. You could do two things at one time. First, we're going to pin this together. Make sure you see where both sides are. Depending on the cut of the t-shirt, it may be a little bit different um, with the front and the back. Sometimes, just depending on the pattern, it'll be a little bit um, more even. So you just want to make sure you have both the front and the back parts nice and smooth. Okay. So you're only going to want to pin to about where the sleeve, I mean the collar is, because we're going to cut all of that off. Okay. Now do the other side. Same situation. Make sure you know where both parts are. So you can keep it even. Don't want any puckering. So flat. Okay, so now what we're going to do, oop, I pinned higher than I needed to. Okay, you're going to want to take a ruler and some kind of marking device, whatever you think is best for you and for the color of your shirt. Trace your line. Nice and straight, easy does it. Stick just a couple pins in there. Three. Don't have to be in there any nice, neat order because you're just going to leave them there just for stability purposes. Cut a straight line. Now you're going to want to save all of this extra material because we're going to use it to make a strap at the end. Okay, so now we're going to take this to the machine. But first, before we do that, you're going to want to figure out, like I said in the beginning, you're going to want to make sure you know how the shirt fits on your body. Because what we're going to do is we are going to make a line on here so we can make it ease in. 
If you do a lot of sewing, you may be able to ease on your own. Um, if not, this is just a good way to do it. You're just gonna wanna kinda curve it nice and gently along the line here. Just taper it a little bit. So you have a nice curve that'll sit well on your body. Okay. So now we're gonna go to the machine. Turn on your machine. You're gonna wanna make your stitch about 3.5 and then you're just gonna sew it. Don't forget to back stitch. Okay. So now we're going to do You can put it up to yourself, see how it fits, if you like the way it fits. And you would do the same thing for the other side. So for time's sake, we're not going to do that. Okay, so then you're gonna turn your dress back around. Okay, so we're going to pretend that this is also sewn, except for it wouldn't be quite so high, so you can actually get into it. Okay, so here is what it would look like. And then what you're going to do, you have your dress. Like I said, this is all sewn, so it would be nice and flat like this. And you're going to take your fabric and make some straps. Then you're gonna put this up to yourself and see where you want it to sit, how low. I mean, you could even get fancy and cut a little V if you want. But the main thing is to figure out the strap length. So then you have a whole bunch of fabric and you can do it whatever way you want. If you want it to be a halter, all you have to do, cut off your collar You want to make sure you cut it nice and even though. I'm just going to do a rough cut so you can get the idea. But even if you do a rough cut, then what you can do at the end is go back in and cut it really nice and neatly, very close to the collar so it looks beautiful. And if you're doing a halter, what you're going to want to make sure you do, just that. So then you can attach it here pin or however you want to do it. Put a button or a snap in the back and you have a halter dress. You can belt it and make it really sassy or since you have all this leftover fabric, you can always cut regular straps. Cut your strap, attach to the front on the inside, attach to the back on the inside and you have a regular strap. You have all of this to work with and you can do it however you want to make it your own, customize it. But now you know the basic body of making a dress and from there the sky's the limit. My name's Amanda Perna. Thanks for watching.